this is Trish Palmer from Australian Hypnosis Conference and I am here with Pierre. Now, Pierre's got a absolutely beautiful presentation and I have to say, I honestly know nothing about it. So Pierre, you're talking about hypnodream, is that right? Yeah, hypnodream analysis. All right, without being punzy, is that what you say, punzy? Without having a pun in place, how did you manifest or dream this up? Like, how did you come actually, across this idea? Well, actually, it, it's not something that I invented or anything. You know, okay. it's, it's, it's nothing. It's nothing new per se. Mm -hmm. It's just something that I use, and I've kind of just made, gave it my color, yeah, and decided to kind of share it because my students just say, "Well, that's cool." So I figured, it's like, well, why not share it? Yeah, yeah. So, so that's how I came about to, or, you know, it's like doing this training and so on. I actually had um, lunch with Megan Morris the other day and she said she purchased your book off Amazon and it's absolutely amazing. Like she absolutely loves it. So I, I can't wait to get into it myself, I must admit. So yeah. So have you heard of H.R. Geiger? Hey, what? H.R. Geiger. Have you heard of H.R. Geiger? No. no. So H.R. Geiger, he was the, the person who created the Alien movies. Have you heard of the Alien oh, okay, movies? Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, but he actually dreamed of that stuff. That's how they came up with the artwork. And he has a whole museum, like, you know, completely constructed all around his dreams. So do you interpret your own dreams and then, you know, create something from it? Or how do you deal with this stuff? Well, you know, there's different ways of doing it. You know, it's like there's the all the books there the dream interpretation books and so on i'm more inclined you know i'm more into using it as a therapeutic modality mm -hmm. because what happens is is when people start working in hypnosis uh, most of my clients you know come to me and say so well you know it's like i'm dreaming more you know i got these weird dreams and so yeah, on yeah. Yeah. I think I'm I'm frozen, am I? Yeah, you froze. You're like, yeah. but at least you got a good face though, because when I freeze, I'm just like, you know, I get this with derpy face. That it's like it chooses the most stupid face that Trish could possibly have. <laughs> so do you want to come back out and go back in, or what do we do? Hey, hey you're, you're back. back. Hey, you're back. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, my camera just went. Nah. So I got to look there. Yeah, <laughs> so I gotta okay. use my laptop camera. <laughs> it's okay. Like, um, there are, uh, I think they're called gremlins that get into technology. Absolutely. And your Absolutely. camera's gone again. <laughs> I'll Gee. put a little animation on the screen. Da, da, there da, I go. Da, da. Oh, back. there you are. <laughs> so, yeah, so how did how, now I'm going? Um, so I'm what back. I was saying, yeah, is, yeah. You know, what, so my clients start dreaming and these weird dreams and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I've decided to kind of more, go more into it. Mm -hmm. And then, it, and when you kind of use books, they're just generalizations. Yeah, yeah. Right. When you're using it in as a therapeutic modality, each symbol mm -hmm. has a meaning for that person yeah. because each symbol is a part of that person. Yeah. It's kind. Of, it's like. You, know, you you could compare it to a, 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 an unconscious parts therapy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so by using hypnodream analysis, uh, I find that, you know, it's like my clients will kind of learn things about themselves or they, they'll get these aha moments yeah. that, that will help them and will help us, you know, kind of move forward in the therapy in, in the therapy. And, and honestly, I honestly believe that dreams can be healing as well. So my father passed away and there's a lot of resentment around that. And I would say probably about three months ago, I had a dream that I walked into this room and there was my dad and he was a younger version of himself of when I knew him when he was younger. And he was with his dog named Whiskey. And I only remember Whiskey from when I was like really little, like don't have a lot of memories. And he was with Whiskey and playing and just in a really good place and then he was sitting with these two people and it's like I knew the people but I didn't know the people and when I was going through some of his photos from his estate I realized that those people were actually his parents 
but I had this wonderful manifestation that he was with these people and he was happy and he was finally mm. letting go of his anger and he was healing. And then in the dream, I sat down beside him and I said to him, G'day, old mate, how you going? Because that's how I used to talk to my dad, you know. And then I woke up and I was like, wow, I just feel like you're happy and you're healed on the other side. And there's this strange sense that can come over you that you know can really like you know give you a revelation as such do you have those kind of dreams as well uh, yeah but but you know yeah. sometimes you know they can be as clear as that mm -hmm. or sometimes they can be <clears throat> like i have clients bringing me like a couple of pages yeah sometimes but sometimes i have clients bringing me three lines wow. and it works the same yeah that's amazing I you know that. so it's it's really and and, and the thing is uh a lot of times when you get stuck with a client, yeah. you can program dream. Yeah. So in my book, what I did is like, I, I don't like fluff. Yeah, me either. So it's, it's really, I give some information and so on. I give scripts, I give, you know, to pro, you know, to yeah, program you dreams and so on. Yeah, you give guidance. So it's like, it's something to be useful for all hypnotherapists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the thing is, the reality is that none of us can debate about dreams and they don't exist or anything like that. But when it comes to spirituality and stuff, there's that error of debate. But when it comes to dreams, we're like, wow, all of us have had a dream of some sort, even if we don't remember it. And, and the thing too, it's like the, the expert about the dream is the client. Yes. It's not us. Yes. We're, yes. Just, we're just guides. Yeah, yeah. We guide them through the process, get the messages, get, you know, mm. and and get those messages to integrate within themselves. Yeah, I was going through some of my old teachings just last night and it talked about the seven main criteria of hypnosis. And I think a lot of therapists have kind of lost their way and become a little bit analytical when it comes to hypnosis. Like, oh, it has to be done in these ways or these steps and stuff like that. And they forget that the, that they're just the guide, that the mm -hmm. client gives them the feedback, the client gives them a contribution, the client is the one who's coming up with the information and that's where we need to go you know what? i need to step back and just allow my client to do what they need to do and if they get into a stage of ab reaction or lost or anything that's when i can walk in front of them to help protect them until i can walk beside them again so mm -hmm. yeah i love what you've come up with um i love the cover that you come up with your with your book it is completely like i absolutely love it it is gorgeous so when it comes to um like you said before that your clients tend to do have have more dreams and stuff is that when you step in and you talk about the hypno dream or do you offer it beforehand well when they come when they come up right right yeah you know, yeah because there's there's three sleep modes and there's three places where people dream but yeah. out of those three there's only one that's useful in as in therapy ah oh, right yeah right because some of them is just you know uh, it, one part is just kind of uh, letting go the, of the daily stresses and so on the other part is where the subconscious mind does its thing mm -hmm. solves problems without any knowledge kind of thing yeah. without any conscious awareness per se yeah. and then there's a third part uh, where, uh, which is the last part of, of the night kind of thing, that kind of people will dream significant dreams that they need to deal with. Yeah, yeah. It, the brain is an amazing thing, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> love it, love it. But, so, and, and I work 100% by idiomotor response. I love <laughs> idiomotor. I really do. And I don't think a lot of therapists use it enough. I know. It's, and because actually... Uh, I used to do that sometimes, mm -hmm. get them to talk. But then my clients would say, so, well, it's kind of hard to talk. You know, it's like it, I'm, I'm kind of getting out of hypnosis. And it's like, yeah, OK, no problem. Mm -hmm. And since then, I've been doing it like 100 uh, percent by idiomotor response. Yeah, I love that. Love it. Good stuff. Good and stuff. I don't need feed, I don't need content. Mm -hmm. You yeah, know, it's like they're not here for me. Yep. You know, my clients are here for them. Love and it. I'm there to help them out, you know. 
Yeah, love it. Thank you so much. So thank you so much for giving us a bit of insight, Pierre. Um, I will let you go and have your dinner. It is breakfast time here in Australia and dinner time over in Canada. So we are complete opposite ends of the spectrum. So no kidding, jump. Eh? yeah, I know it's going to be, oh, I, I, it's one of those things that you kind of get a bit bizarre about, like you know how the sun works, but it's just like, oh, what time is it there? Tell me. <laughs> well, here it's quarter to eight p.m. <laughs> oh, it's 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 a little bit past dinner time for the Aussies. We're we're about six o'clock <laughs> eaters. <laughs> so yeah. All right, lovely. So thank you so much. I will catch you in the future. And everybody, please jump on and register for the Australian Hypnosis Conference. I, uh, I I'm going to be there. I'm I'm like your little fanboy, Pierre. I'm going to be there, like ah, talk to me. <laughs> okay. Well, looking forward to meeting people and having a great time. Absolutely. All right. We'll see you in the future, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye.